So after watching the second episode of Attack on Titan Season 2, I was instantly bewildered at how great this thing was. Even though it's only going to be like 12 episodes, I'm not that disappointed considering how the episodes are probably going to be paced and how I don't think there's going to be much padding involved. Sure, the amount of material that's going to be in it might be up for question, but I'm still really stoked to see what these 4 years of hard work went into. Now anyways, after watching Season 2 and this revival getting me back into the series, I began to wonder how the series actually came to be and the creation towards it which caused all the success. And I decided to do some research and guess what? The creation of this series is actually really interesting and I really want to talk about it with y'all. So that's what this video is for. My name is Ninja and let's dive into an Attack on Titan discussion video. Now let's start with the creator of this phenomenon, Hajime Isayama. He was very different than the other manga creators popular at the time. Usually they have a secondary series or something on the side before their major phenomenon to which they already had experience and everything. He didn't really focus on other series as much, let alone care for them, as much as he did for Attack on Titan. He wanted to perfect this one idea as much as he could. And his idea for Attack on Titan was due to a lot of his interest as a kid, like drawing creepy looking giants, since Godzilla was obviously really popular in Japan, and you can really tell he takes quite a bit of inspiration from those, while he also makes it into his own unique thing. But even with this unique interest, growing up he was still looked down by a lot of people considering how quote ugly his art style was. He decided to start doing one shots which he built up pretty well to the point where he actually got a fine work award for his contest. And this kind of motivated him to touch up on his series more and more and he pretty much became a manga creator. He worked on the manga on his side during his part time job. He tried to hit his big break by getting into the Shonen Jump ma Weekly magazine but he got no luck. They weren't interested and even besides the ugly art style that he had, it seemed way too graphic and too much for a shonen magazine. Plus, they figured there'd really be no interest considering how out of place this thing was compared to others. But even after they tried to give him a second chance and, make him, uh, and tell him to make it more censored, Isayama still turned it down. Why would he want to censor some of the core concepts of the show, taking away from the quality? He almost wanted to quit his project at times after so much denial and everything and so much discouragement from other publishers, but after taking part in other manga series, his name was being more and more well known, until an editor eventually found out about Isayama's one shot, Attack on Titan. The editor pretty much encouraged Isayama quite a bit, and he told him he should give Attack on Titan another go, but this time make it more longer rather than just a one shot. This was Isayama's big break. Isayama began feeling the excitement that he once did when he was the first creating the uh, putting the ideas on the board for the first time as he was finally getting recognized and he gets to put his hard work to use. Even after his many doubts on how he'd handle some characters and whatnot, Isayama still kept going with this and on September 9, 2009, the first manga volume came out and everyone loved it. It was building up more and more as a phenomenon spawning the immensely popular anime adaptation, the live action films, video games, and many many more. And the crazy thing about Hajime Isayama is that he's only 30. Wow. A young mangaka like this can be going for a long while at this age. Just don't stress yourself out like Tagashi would. So I hope you all enjoyed this little informative video of mine, pretty much talking about the creation and origins of Attack on Titan and how Hajime Isayama pretty much got around to creating this whole phenomenon. If you learned something from this video or at least very entertained, I would really appreciate it if you dropped a like and left a comment down below because trust me, those are always encouraging. But anyways guys, thanks so much for watching. Ninja, out. Peace everybody.